hi everyone in this video i am going to start the new subject that is radar systems so radar system stands for radio detection and ranging so ra stands for radio d for detection a means and r means ranging radio detection and ranging so this is the acronym for this radar now i will explain why this radar and why the radio detection and ranging so radio means it is using radio waves radio waves radio waves are nothing but we are working the signals in the uh, in radio frequency communication all the signals we are using for this type of radar communication are rf signals radio frequency signals all nothing but in terms of giga hertz of frequencies very high frequencies we are using in the radar communication detection is nothing but it is the main purpose of this radar system is used to identify identify the object whether the object is present in the vicinity of the radar system or not that is going to be identified by using this radar system that is the main motto of this radar and along with this identification of the object or target it also finds the distance between the object and the radar system range range is nothing but distance range is nothing but distance okay so by this acronym we can understand that radar uses radio frequencies in order to identify the presence of object and also calculates the distance between the object and the radar system if a target is identified this is the main motto of this radar by just uh, i will explain the introduction part and what is the advantage of this radar system and how the print what is the basic principle of radar system so radar is all about using the radio waves to detect the presence of objects and to find their position what is the position that means at what distance the object is located that is going to be identified using this radar system <laughs> radar can be designed to see through these conditions those conditions uh, impervious to normal human vision such as darkness haze fog rain and snow what is the advantage of radar over the normal human being suppose if one object is there uh, suppose consider a human being who is standing here and one object is here that is okay he can view that signal he can uh, see that object and he can say some okay approximately he can say at a particular distance the object is located suppose heavy rainfall is there or heavy snow is there fog is there in such conditions in such bad environmental conditions we cannot identify the object that is one thing another thing is we cannot identify the object for long distances like uh, hundreds of kilometers but radar system can identify the objects even in bad environmental conditions along with the long distance objects that is the main advantage of this radar system and even in the darkness in night also it can identify the whether it is night or daytime whatever may be the time irrespective of the timing and weather conditions it can detect the objects easily so radar has the advantage of being able to measure the distance or range to the target distance is nothing but range here or it is indicated by r so it can also be identified the range can also be identified by using the radar system <laughs> so it is operated by radiating energy into space and detecting the echo signal reflecting from the object or target so how it is going to identify the target so it sends the signal and collects back the reflected signal so depending upon the processing of the reflected signal it identifies what is the amount of distance that the target is located and we, we if the echo signal is there then we can say that the target is there if the echo signal is not there then there is no target i will explain when we go into the basic principle radar consists of a transmitting section used for emitting electromagnetic radiation generated by an oscillator <laughs> so now let us see what is the basic operation of this radar and how it is going to be operated by through an animation see this one here this is the antenna here we have an antenna this is the antenna 
where our electromagnetic signal is originated. The blue color line which is going from antenna towards the object. The spherical shape is nothing but let us consider this as object. Okay. So now antenna transmits a signal in blue color that goes and touches the object. The transmitted, we have to remember one thing here. The transmitted signal is a high power signal. The transmitted signal is a high power signal in terms of kilowatts of power. Kilowatts of power. But when this signal touches the object, the object may be of any shape. Okay. For general conditions, we consider the object may be a spherical object. So when the wave touches this spherical object or any type of object, the signal will be scattered into many directions because of the sh shape of the object. So as we, as we have seen here, the orange color or red color, which we can see that will be, that is going to be distributed or scattered in many directions. Among all these waveforms, a part of the signal will be reflected back towards the antenna and that will be collected by this receiving antenna. Okay, that means the reflected signal, the reflected or received signal is very low power signal because of scattering. We are sending, trans, we are transmitting kilowatts of power. Among these kilowatts of power, only a very least amount of signal to be, uh, 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 if we want to say it is like 10 power minus 13 watts, it is in that much of uh, smallest range that we have, the received signal has. Okay, so the that least amount of power we are receiving and again immediately amplification is there and processing is there, further processing is there so that we can easily process the signal to get the information related to the object. Okay, so this is how the practical radar system works. Now, it is an another example how the emitted wave and reflected wave is going to be taking place between the transmitter and target so this is the transmitter and receiver we have on the left hand side like in the previous video previous animation so it is the transmitter and as well as receiver the same antenna is working as transmitter and as well as receiver the red color line indicating here the transmitting section okay so that's why it is the emitted wave in this forward direction whenever when object or some target is there let us consider an aeroplane here when this signal touches, the signal will be reflected back. The signal will be reflected back. Not entire power will be reflected back. Only a part of the signal will be reflected back because there is a scattering occurs at the target side. Okay. So the reflected signal which is shown in the green color that will be collected by this receiving antenna and those, that signal will be processed. The distance between this antenna and the aeroplane that is a target that is given by distance and indicated by range R. Now, let us see the basic principle of radar system and what are the main blocks involved in the radar system. Any type of radar system, suppose I can say let there are several types of radar systems available. Uh, they are like pulse radar system, pulse radar system, and CW radar system and third one is FMCW radar system and fourth one MTA radar system pulse Doppler radar system likewise we have several radar systems okay pulse radar system CW radar system FMCW radar system MTA radar system and pulse Doppler radar system for all these different types of radar systems these three blocks are common. What are they? Transmitter, receiver, antenna. Whatever may be the radar system, these three are common. But how we can say whether it is a pulse radar system, continuous wave radar system or FMCW radar system, that is depending upon the type of transmitting section and type of receiving section we have used in the processing of the signal. Okay. Suppose if I am using a pulse transmitter, pulse wave transmitter, then this type of uh, transmitting section comes under pulse radar system. 
in we without any modulation we are just transmitting a continuous wave using this transmitter then it is coming under acw radar system i am using a modulation frequency modulation with the continuous wave then it comes under cw so like that depending upon the type of transmitting section and receiver we have been it has been classified into several types of radar systems but mainly the main blocks involved here it is a transmitting section receiving section along with antenna these three are common for any type of any type of radar systems okay see this is the construction how the transmitter receiver and antenna are being connected the output of transmitting antenna the output of transmitter is connected to antenna and the antenna here we are using a single antenna for both transmission and as well as reception the reflected signal collected by the same antenna and again sending back to the receiver so we have a receiver here this is the receiver now at a particular distance r range to the target r at a particular distance r the target is located let us consider this is the target in aeroplane now see this difference between the transmitted and receiver signal strengths the transmitted signal strength is having more from here to here whereas the received signal strength is this one very less i told you already because the transmitted signal has to travel very long to identify the object we don't know where the exact location of the target is okay target may be there or may not be there so we need to transmit a signal towards the target if target is there then it is going to be reflected if target is not there the signal will be going like that okay so we need to transmit kilowatts of power and the, if the target is there the signal will be reflected back and that reflected signal is having very least amount of power that is around 10 power minus 13 watts of power that reflected back signal is collected by this antenna why i am using a single antenna here how it is going to be collecting the reflected signal that means in one time it is acting as transmitting section uh, during off time it is acting as reflecting uh, collecting antenna or receiving antenna so that signal is collected by this receiver and going to the receiver okay so this is the way how the uh, basic principle of operation is taking place uh, that signal received signal is going to be processed further to identify the parameter r parameter r r is nothing but distance between the target and the radar system okay so this is the basic principle of radar system and introduction to the radar system what type of waveforms we can use that we will discuss in the next class thank you